Hi, today's lesson is actually a review of what we've been learning in Unit 7. We're going to do the reteaching page on pages 439 and 440. What I'd like you to do is go ahead and work through the problems on your own, and then when you're done, turn the video back on and we'll check the answers together. And that way you'll see if there's anything you need to review or if you understood it all before we went over it. All right, so please pause the video and then when you're all done, come back and turn it back on. All right, so on page 439, set A is talking about counting by tens using these 10 frames. And here it says you can count by tens when you have a lot of objects to count. So instead of trying to count every red dot, we can say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. There are one, two, three, four, five, six tens, which equals 60. So over here at number one, it says count by tens, write the number three different ways. So first I want to say how many tens we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten tens, and that number would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And then the word name would be one, where we actually spell it out, 100. All right, set B is reviewing using the 100 frame, or in their case, the 120 frame. Remembering that if we go across, we're counting by ones, and if we go up and down, we're counting by tens. So down here it says count on by ones, so we're gonna go across. And they have us starting at 99 to 100, and then we have to remember that when we come to the end of the line, it's just like when we're writing, we come down to the left on the next line. So then we would have 101, 102, 103. So number two says use the, hundred, the number chart to count on by tens. So they say to start at 80. So 80 would be up here, wouldn't it? So by tens, we're going to go down. 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Number three, they want to count by ones, so we're going to go across, starting at 114. So we find that on the chart. And we go across 115, 116, 117, 118. All right, on page 100, or sorry, 440, uh, they're using what's called an open number line, which means you can write in what you need to. So here, starting at 29, if we're supposed to count by ones, we can draw the next one. We can start at 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34. So we can write in the numbers we need. If we're counting by tens, we can just put the next one here. We start at 35, so it's going to become 45, 55, 65, and on. So here it says start at 62. So we write and make our own 62, count by tens to 102. So 62, the next one would be 72, 82, 92, 102. So it's just a different way instead of writing with the, the spaces and the, the uh, commas in between. It's just a different way that you can set it up. So this one says start at 97, count on by ones. So we're going to change the ones. 97, 98, 99, 100, 101. All right, set D says, does something repeat in the problem? How does that help? Is there a shortcut that makes sense? Because shortcuts are always wonderful, if they make sense. Here we have count on by a number to find how many in all. So if you remember, we start at the number that's in the box, and then we find a shortcut. And the shortcut is, let's group them by tens, huh? So here's one, two, I'm going to make my mark, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then they circle it, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
my circles are a little weirder than theirs. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six extras out here. So, so that Sean spills some puzzle pieces. 80 are in the box. How many puzzle pieces are there in all? So we're going to start at 80 and count on by tens. So 80, 90, 100, and then we have to count in the six extras. 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106. All right. If you need to review any of those, if you weren't sure about it, you can go back into the old videos and review parts in the book that maybe you weren't um, too sure about. Please take a picture and send it to your teacher and have a great afternoon.